Hello everyone, Carlos here for keyboard shortcut number 18, which is going to be about Chief F8. It's, I think is a keyboard shortcut that is essentially is for selecting non-adjacent ranges. Okay. Now, for example, let me show you a quick demo here. I'm just going to copy this small data set from this table right here. Just a small, very tiny data. Control C and I'm going to add a new worksheet with Shift F, F11 and I'm going to paste it here with Control Alt V, V and then enter so I can paste just in values. And now, for example, if I actually, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, say that I actually wanted to select just two columns from this small data set. Say, for example, that I wanted to select road ID and unit price only and paste it right below it, but just those two columns, you can see they're separated each other by two other columns in between. So the way to do it is actually shift control arrow down and then shift FA. And then you can move to the other section right here. So you can see, for example, that the column of row ID is actually highlighted. That means that it's actually still selected. If I do shift control arrow down, now I have selected the whole column of unit price and I do control C. And now if I go right below it, you can do control V and actually just paste two adjacent columns right to, in, uh, right to each other, uh, right next to each other. Okay. They all have to be the same height. That's only one condition that need to be met in order for this to work. Okay. That's essentially the trick pretty much. Uh, because what I have seen a lot of people is that they copy data and then paste in values in another place and then cut the, and they, they, and then you, you see them losing time in cutting columns or hiding columns and all that. I think it would be more productive if you actually select the, the columns that you want that potentially maybe are non adjacent or adjacent or most probably non adjacent. You select them with this keyboard shortcut and then you paste them alone and then you don't have to cut or hide columns. Okay. That's what it's for. And I think that's what is useful that you can save time just with this keyboard shortcut. Okay. Now, uh, before co concluding, there's uh, some sort of uh, different um, sort of interaction when you work with table. What do I mean? For example, is that, for example, let's just go to this table right here. And right here, we have this column, or we have this table, okay, that has about 2,000 rows, okay. And for example, we wanted to select maybe just three columns of this table. But when I do control spacebar, you can see that actually it only selected up to that point. It didn't select the whole column. Okay. So this is interesting because now I'm going to select it again, control space bar and then control backspace to get to the top. And now I'm actually going to do shift F a it's like very similar to the, to the previous example. I'm going to go, maybe I'm going to take out shipping cost and I'm actually going to do, well, let me see one thing, one thing here. Sorry for that. We, oh, I've lost the selection. So control space bar. Okay. Control backspace and then shift F a, and then let's say that we want the shipping cost. We do control space bar, control backspace to get to the top. Okay. And then shift for the third or fourth or fifth column. You have to press F a twice, one, two, and then go to the next one right here. Ship mode. Maybe if you want to include that one, control space bar, control backspace. And then now you, Control C to copy it. We go to the sheet five. Maybe we can put it right here below control V and now we got it. See, we got those three columns that there were, that they were non adjacent to each other and we got it all into one spot, but we didn't include the header. So into include the header, we go back to the table. Okay. And cancel with escape. We cancel the previous selection. And now we say, for example, control space bar, control backspace, Control space bar again, so I can include the header where now I highlighted order priority, this section right here. And now I do shift F a, and I actually move to this section right here, chipping cost. And I do control space bar, control backspace, control space bar. And now I select the shipping cost, the header, and then do shift F a one once. And now again, F a again twice. And then you go to the next section on chip mode. And then control space bar, space bar, yeah, control backspace and control space bar again. And now you have the chip bow uh, or the, the header control C. And then now we go to chip five and we put it right next to each other. And now we have the three columns with the respective headers. And that's pretty much it. This is the only difference when working with tables and you, and you are selecting a third or fourth column, 
you're gonna have to press for the third fourth and so on shift and f8 twice okay guys and that's it that's it pretty much uh for this tutorial and i'll see you for number 19 thank you for watching